everybody, it's Andy here again on the boat Kingfisher, or my new project, and uh, this is Heads and Tails Sailing Reviews. Today we're going to tell you what the number one secondary anchor you can own is, which is a fortress. And I'm going to explain to you why this is the best secondary anchor you can have. Uh, I've had several of them in different situations, and they are fabulous. This channel is all about bringing you real world experience reviews. The gear that we have, I've had on boats over the last couple of years of uh, cruising around the world and on what I've had on boats previously when I was a coastal cruiser. Uh, this is really kind of the nitty gritty. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I just want to tell you guys what uh, is out there. If you have opposite views, definitely drop them in the little comments thing. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get new uh, videos, uh, warnings about the videos all the time. And Heads and Tails Sailing Review is a subsidiary company of Heads and Tails Coaching, which is what I do normally to uh, afford cruising around the world. So, Fortress Anchor. Now this is a 12 meter, which is a 39 foot catamaran. And our previous catamaran was even bigger. And we had this fortress on it as well. Uh, this is an F6, FX16, which is a 10 pound fortress, which seems ridiculously light uh, and small for a boat this size. But I can tell you that our last boat, which was a, a 41, 42 foot modified warm, was 6,000 kilos, 12,000, 13,000 pounds uh, of displacement. We put this out <clears throat> uh, to hold us into the swell and waves in an anchorage that we were in, like as a secondary anchor off the stern. And when we went to pull it in a couple days later, I had to dive down on it and dig it out of the sand. We could not lift it. There was no way. We had pulled the boat right up to it. Uh, it would not budge. We had to dig this out of the sand to be able to lift it up. I even put a little lift loop at the back of it so we could pull it out backwards, but uh, no way. Uh, so if you're putting this down in sand or mud, know that it's going to hold you, okay? And uh, the only thing that I've ever heard about these that, that is not good is you have to be very careful, not very careful, but you need to be aware of if you try to pull it out by twisting, um, it's not that good for them, but they will come. Great things about these, so light. You know, we can mount this anywhere. I'm gonna hang it on my stern rail so it's ready to go as a stern anchor at a moment's notice. Uh, you can dismantle it and stow it away. I, we had another one of these on uh, the second catamaran that we owned a couple years ago, a huge warm uh, Pahi 42. And it was went through Hurricane Irma. And it was only held down by two anchors. A modern day roll bar anchor at the front, which had released the ink, the winch had not held it and it let all the chain out. And a massive, I, I don't even know what number it was, but it was a massive fortress anchor. And it took me two days and three people to help get it out of the mud. We had to get a dredger, blow all the mud off of it and pull it up. But the shank was well over three and a half, four feet tall and the blades were three feet long. Uh, and so it was down there for good if we wouldn't have blown it out. But the little fortress, really good. It has two settings. It has a mud setting and a sand setting. I always leave it for mud setting because it means it has the most deflection here. Uh, so it can dig deeper. But yeah, these are incredibly strong. But I, I wish they could be a main anchor. And if you were always going to be anchoring maybe around the Bahamas where you can find sand all the time. Uh, or even in the Mediterranean, uh, you could, you know, we found sand patches all the time where we anchored. You could probably use this as your main anchor, but there's some instances, you know, grass, things like that, where you need a, a, a an anchor like a spade or a plow style anchor, or one of the new generation roll bar anchors, Rockna Mantis, something like that, which, you know, we've had a, a Mantis before, which worked very well. And we'll talk about that on another video. But for a secondary anchor, you cannot go wrong with the Fortress. Uh, listen to what they say about size-wise. I went to the uh, minimum size I could have for the last boat. This one, it'll be one size bigger than what we need. So this one, F-16 Fortress. Uh, get yours today. I'll put a link down at the bottom of the video. Uh, you can buy them through Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper than usually your local channelry. So make it happen. Anyway, this is Andy. 
two thumbs up, or in my case, five thumbs up on one hand. Uh, for the Fortress Anchor is a secondary anchor coming to you from Kingfisher, the new boat project uh, down here in Curacao. I will take you on a tour later this week of the boat and show you what needs to be done before we set off cruising the Caribbean again. Anyway, this has been Heads and Tails Sailing Review. Subscribe and hit the bell. Catch you next time.